What to Quantal Entertainment presents Quinton's Animation Extravaganza, episode 166, Boss Iron Claw. Chapter 59 of Himitsu Sentai Go Ranger. Well, seeing as how my allies and I have already taken down nine mechanical monsters, I think Prime is starting to lose its sanity because of us, don't you? Come in! Attention! Oh, hi, Miyako, Momoko, Kaoru, come on in! Oh, what's up? Wow, Shigeru, Koji, and Takashi are here too, come on in! Hi, Quentin! Oh my god, all my fellow Power Puffs are here! Hey, Quentin! Oh god, the main six too? What's next? The Jackers? Nope, that's all of us. But they did find out some information about the leader of crime. They told us all about it, and we thought you ought to know too. Okay, go ahead. Okay, crime calls its leader Boss Iron Claw. He's in charge of every scheme that crime has done. Huh, makes sense. The Jacker showed us a picture of Boss Iron Claw. Apparently he has a real bizarre style of hair on his face that makes him look like he has a stalk of broccoli for a head. It's so weird. Oh my god. Yeah, crazy, right? However, his bizarre hairstyle doesn't fool anybody. He's extremely ruthless and is willing to kill every member of crime that's reluctant to obey his orders. That wouldn't surprise me due to him being the big boss and all that jazz. The Jackers also found out that he acts really strange when he's alone, almost as if he's being controlled by something. Whenever he's alone, he seems to be talking to something he calls Shine. Oh my god! If that's the case, then that thing must be the true mastermind of crime and Boss Iron Claw is only its puppet. Well, it all started almost 10 weeks ago. Gordon, Susan, Bob, and Mr. Hooper were introducing me to a newcomer in Animation Land named Miguel. That was when Joker tapped me on the shoulder and introduced himself. He needed my help to deal with crime, since I had taken down the Black Cross Army last year. Of course, you guys helped tremendously, but Joker didn't know that yet. Anyway, he took me to Isis's headquarters where I met four humans who were converted to cyborgs. Goro Sakurai, aka Spade Ace, Ryu Higashi, aka Diet Jack, Karen Mizuki, a.k.a. Heart Queen, and Bunta Daichi, a.k.a. Clover King. These four cyborgs form my new Sentai allies, the Jacker Dengeki Tai. I helped them take down Prime's first mechanical monster, Devil Killer. The next day, Quentin told Momoko, Gaoru, and me about the battle when we joined forces again, just like old times. The following week, I met Quentin during his production of Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. I also introduced him to my two younger brothers, Takashi and Koji. The three of us joined him and our cousins in the fight against crime. A week after the Phantom Menace's premiere, Momoko and I got married and as a result, I became a Power Puff. I adopted the Power Puff identity, Blitz. The following week, I was having a weird dream. When I woke up, I realized that I was a Power Puff as well. It turns out my family was a Now we have taken down nine mechanical monsters. I think we should prepare for something far greater than any mechanical monster we face so far. I was just thinking the same thing. We're all with you on this, Quentin. All right, let's do our very best to take down crime in the same way we did with the Black Cross Army. Hey, thanks for being part of our conversation. Stop by whenever crime's next mechanical monster attacks, okay? All right, see you later. This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quentin Cole, copyright 2019. Yeah.
This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is PBS, the public broadcasting service.